You know, and there's starting to be some uh, fire breathing down their down their back, Naren. I mean, all we have to do is go back to last November, and the state of Massachusetts uh, had that ballot measure. It's called ballot measure number two. If you're not uh, familiar with it, go back and look in our past episodes about ballot measure number two, and you can learn all about it. And that's where Delta, all the insurance companies are, are now required to pay a certain amount of the revenue that they collect in premiums to benefits, to direct benefits. Um, and that's putting more and more pressure on, on, on Delta. And now other states um, seeing the success of that are starting to get on that bandwagon as well. So there's a number of factors that, that are um, causing Delta to uh, flex their policies a little bit. Uh, to be a little bit more friendly. Three in particular. Uh, number one, uh, a number of states, they are now allowing assignment of benefits. Number two, in, in some states, legislation is requiring them to do that. And number three, they're starting to see some more administrative uh, pressure as a result of the massive success. It was, it was literally a landslide success, a ballot measure number two in the state of uh, Massachusetts. Um, now, with all that said, Naren, one thing isn't changing, and that is their fee schedules. Their fee cool. schedules continue to go down, continue to go down. And, and that bodes very poorly for you. There are many parts of the country now, based on the um, inflationary cycle that we're in, Aaron, um, where everything we buy in the dental practice is more expensive, but in particular, rising wages. There are a number of specific regions in the country where dentists are saying, I can no longer participate with Delta because the amount of money I get for a hygiene appointment doesn't even cover my hygienist hourly rate. Right. Let alone anything else, let alone, you know, the cost of the room, the cost of the equipment, the cost of the materials, the cost of infection control to provide a safe environment, the admin cost to uh, have an administrative team member that puts butts in the seats for the hygienist. And many states, many, not just states, regions of the country, that's happening where dentists have said, no, I can't do that anymore. I'm out. And we're starting to see a growing groundswell movement of, of dentists just saying enough is enough. Uh, so I do like the trends that we're seeing, Naren, in terms of uh, perhaps assignment of benefits, uh, being able to be assigned to the practice. Uh, but overall, the, the bottom line measurement is, are, are, can we provide a profitable service at their fee schedule? That isn't changing. 